Welcome back to another Moto Bob video. Now this is my FTR Rally. It's a long termer that I've got from Indian. And while it sounds pretty good, I think there's a lot of potential for it to sound awesome. Thankfully, the guys from Jekyll and Hyde are here and they're gonna fit one of their systems. So we'll show you how it's installed, tell you all about it. And at the end, we'll listen to this bike, the Chief and the Thruxton. And I know they're gonna sound incredible. Before we get stuck in with the install, here's a quick clip of the existing pipe. It's the official Indian Akropovich slip-on accessory, and my bike has the high link pipe just to give it a bit of a scrambler look. Personally, I think it looks really cool on the FTR Rally, so if that's the sort of aesthetic you're going for, then definitely check it out. But of course, Indian and Akropovich have legal constraints to work within, and so that's why it's not particularly loud. But that's exactly where the Jekyll and Hyde comes in. I mean, admittedly, it's more complex and therefore expensive, but it's a brilliant workaround. More volume, more bass, and yet still road legal. All right, so it's not just a regular slip-on, you know, there's something different about this. So tell us about Jekyll and Hyde. So uh, we have an electronically adjustable exhaust. Mm -hmm. That means we have a valve in the exhaust. If the valve is closed, exhaust gases and also the sound will travel through the exhaust, but they can't go any further because the valve is closed. They will travel to the outside of the exhaust, where there's an extra chamber and there's also damp in it. They will travel outside these holes and travel outside to, to the outside room. So this also makes it more quiet, really quiet. Yeah. You have a button on your handlebar uh, where you can open the valve and then you have a straight through uh, exhaust sound. So there are windows of legality where we are connected to the ECU, so we know in which gear you are, which RPM you're doing, which speed you're doing, uh, and in these legality windows the valve will close automatically, but as a driver you won't really notice it, um, but you always have the option to push the button and the valve will open and you can drive with open sound. That sounds good. I can't yeah. wait to hear it. So let's get it installed. No problem. <laughs> so first things first, we need to whip off the existing Akropovich. It's worth adding that Jekyll and Hyde sell their stuff through dealers who install it for you. They don't sell direct to consumer. And that's because, as you'll see, it's a relatively complicated process when you compare it to a quick slip on. On top of that, every model of bike is, of course, pretty different. So here we have the one that's going on my bike. We actually spec this up on the website, didn't we? So. Uh, black, matte black, kind of like the original stock exhaust, but then with this finisher. What's this style called again? It's called a Street Fighter end cap. Nice. So yeah, I think it's going to look really sleek and uh, clean, but also not too different from factory. I think it's going to look quite classy. So we've just got the seat off here to run the electronics, but you can see the weird shape of the FTR fuel tank. So you fill it up here, of course, and then it all goes down. There's the fuel pump, I think. And then back up, there's another breather here because it's effectively U-shaped. So it does take a little while to fuel it up, uh, but it's kind of interesting to see it with the seat off. So here we just got the button going on that activates the valve and it just slots onto the lower bolt there for the mirror clamp. Super neat. So maybe a fun story about the design of the Street Fighter. Yeah. The first original uh, exhaust that was built was just a straight pipe Mm -hmm. inside the, uh, an exhaust just like this, with a valve at the end. So if the valve closes, the straight pipe is closed off and all the exhaust gases go to the outside of the uh, exhaust and come out of these holes. That was right. the first original Jekyll and Hyde. So you just kept them for, for looks. Yeah, That's exactly. cool, a nice little reference back. Yeah. So we've got the silencer on here. Actually, you can see the valve really easily down the end of there. But yeah, we just need to run the cabling. So here's the servo, and then it pulls on a couple of cables, and those kind of actuate the valve in the silencer. And this is our computer, a smart box, where the software is on. So sure. each bike has like his own software. So we write own software for per model that we, that we have. So that's all on here. This is the owner's manual. Uh, you get an EC certificate with it. That means the exhaust is legal, you can show it uh, also to, to the police. Uh, it has its own serial number, and you can also see who assembled it, who did the electronic check, so that was Niels, and who did the final check, Aracon, in our production. 
Awesome. So it's really uh, handmade produced, custom produced. It's getting pretty close now, so just connecting all the cables, tidying them away, and fitting the finishing parts. So yeah, we've got a little heat shield, and uh, I really like the design here. The carbon sort of matches there, and then we've got a little bit of detail in that sort of matches uh, the top here. And you were saying that pretty much everything's bespoke for each bike in terms yeah, of yeah, yeah. fitments, yeah, fittings yeah. like that? Definitely, because also for legality software so uh, and also the internals of the pipe, so it can be that the externals look the same, mm -hmm. but the internals are also always specific to each bike to get the optimal sound. So a quick test of the valve and we're good to go. Here it is revving up outside Motobob HQ. Now for reference, here's the official Akropovich accessory again. And now back to the Jekyll and Hyde. I also captured some footage of the Akropovich out on the road. And now, here's the Jekyll and Hyde with the exact same setup. Personally, I think it sounds way better, especially with the valve open. It's noticeably louder, it's way bassier, it sounds more aggressive when you blip the throttle, and I just love those pops and crackles on deceleration. Now, Jekyll and Hyde were kind enough to bring a couple of other bikes to here. So first up, their Indian Super Chief Limited, a bike that I've reviewed recently, and to me, this one just sounds absolutely awesome with all that capacity. They also brought along their Thruxton RS, which is a bike that I think sounds incredible in stock form. But again, the Jekyll and Hyde just ups the finish a little bit and gives you the option to instantly open it up. Now it goes without saying that I'm super happy with this pipe on my FTR. I've been riding it for a few weeks now since they installed it, and I love the option to run it quiet when I'm parking it up at home. But then open the valve when you're out for a blast and you've instantly got an epic soundtrack for your ride. I should also mention that a double tap on the button opens it halfway for a bit of a balance between the two. Now the Jekyll and Hyde isn't cheap, it's up there with the most expensive exhaust you can buy for most bikes. But after going through this process with them, I could certainly see where the money's going with the research that goes into each bike to make it legal, the quality of construction and the finish, and then the sheer cool factor of having an exhaust valve on your bike. So a massive thanks to Jekyll and Hyde for hooking me up with it. It really does give me a massive grin every time I take the bike out and all while being completely street legal. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.